This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. This is just a quick trip down memory lane to show that female rap beefs have always existed. I mean, people forget that Eve, we all know that little Kim and Foxy Brown had pretty serious beef, okay? But uh, let's, let's never forget that even Eve and Foxy Brown had beef. Now, there's just... N now, this really goes over, like, you know, DMX and stuff like that. That, that was one thing that really uh, bothered, seemed to bother Eve. But uh, think about it. They're both, they were both on the rise. Fox came out, you know, like, uh, mid-90s. Then Eve came to rise in 98. And that really, gr girls can't take competition. You know, even though you'll see a lot of girl collabs, like Missy Elliott and this girl and this girl and this girl. Like around that time, Missy Elliott, Foxy, Eve, uh, you know, Little Kim. These are the girls that are like pretty much running everything. I mean, look, uh, you got uh, Il Nana with double uh, platinum. Then you got uh, China Doll went platinum. Then you got Broken Silence went gold. This is all Foxy from '96 to 2001. Um, with Eve, you got, uh, 99, she came on the scene, double platinum, you know, she was having songs with Gwen Stefani after that and everything, you know, that her next song, uh, Scorpion went platinum, and then Evolution went gold. Uh, she was on Rough Riders, Foxy Brown was kind of on her own, but affiliated with Jay-Z, felt powerful, uh, but it all came to a super, super head. At one time in 2002, during an interview with Miss Jones, responded to a Foxy Brown disc worker, Get Off Me, st uh, stating that uh, she was glad she could be an inspiration for Brown's ghostwriter. <laughs> Eve also revealed that uh, she had known Brown since 1997, and she's, she was a wankster and a miserable, jealous B-I-T-C-H, which... Uh, you know, unfortunately, Nikki gets dubbed this because of the Cardi B and the, the, all the other beef she has. I don't think that's the case, but um, this is what happens. They get they label each other things. Uh, Eve said, ain't my fault. Foxy been out since 96 and her bank account looked the same. Do you, Ma, you look weak. Do you? Uh, and then in 2003, during it, her interview with Wendy Williams, Foxy revealed that uh, she hated Eve incited her as the prime reason why she broke up with corrupt because eve snitched about the alleged affair between her and dmx um foxy's been with a lot of guys in the industry just so you know like that's that's not a rumor that's a fact <laughs> um brown later made derogatory remarks about eve throughout the interview calling the rapper poorly dressed uh and then nappy-headed blonde chick Brown also added she was sick and tired of Eve subliminally dissing her on Little Kim and Little Kim, oh, her and Little Kim on records because she and Kim changed the game for hip hop for female rappers. Uh, in 2003, Eve dissed Brown on her record until the word back. Uh, anyways, from, uh, anyways. I like Foxy better than Eve. Foxy was hard. Okay, uh, Eve kind of got cakewalked in the game to me through through uh rough riders she was their first lady all this other stuff and that that, that situation didn't totally work out um <clears throat> but eve's married to a billionaire now <laughs> but uh this just to show you i mean this is one we could go this could be a 20 minute video but it's not going to be that to show you that female rap beefs have always existed and people paved the way before um uh, Little Kim and Foxy, you know, you had uh, Roxanne Shante, Queen Latifah, Salt and Pepper, you know, just to name a few, just to name a few. Um, and these rap beefs always exist. So the Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Lotto, you, this is new to a lot of people. Why can't girls get along? Girls just don't get along, man. Just like a lot of guys beef too. It's just people are, it's competitive. Life is competitive. <laughs>